Hello, today I will be briefly introducing the functions and features of our 116th DIN Ramp and Soak PID controller. It is 30 steps one can program for either ramp, soak, jump, or triggering relay actions. This product has been widely used in applications such as kilns, heat treating ovens, smokers, and other products. So now I'm just going to briefly introduce our display. Here we have our PV, or process value, and it will display the sensor readout. We have our SV, or set value, which displays set temperature for the current running step or power output percentage. Next, we have four indicators on the left. We have an AL1 indicator for the alarm one relay, which will light up when the alarm one relay is on. Next, we have an AL2 indicator for the alarm two relay, which will light up when the alarm two relay is on. Next, we have our AM indicator, which shows the controller operating status. When AM is solid, the program is running. When AM is flashing, program is paused, and when AM is off, the program is stopped. And then finally here, we have our out or OUT indicator. This shows uh, whether, our, whether there's power being delivered to the, uh, um, the output. Now we have four keys on the bottom here. We have the set key, holding it for two seconds to enter your parameter editing profile or pressing it once to check the current running step. Next, you have your AM key to enter your program profile or to shift your digits. And you have your down and up arrow keys to in increase or decrease your set value. The parameter editing profile can be accessed by holding the set key for two or three seconds until the setup menu is displayed. In the editing profile, you can edit your parameters. I will briefly introduce each parameter. So I'm gonna hold the set key for two, three seconds. ALM1 is the absolute high alarm. ALM2 is the absolute low alarm. HY1 is the parameter for the deviation high alarm. HY2 is the parameter for the deviation low alarm. HY is the hysteresis band for main output in on-off mode and deviation alarms. AT stands for auto-tune. Now, zero is for on-off mode. One, two, and three are for PID mode. One and two activate auto-tune, and three is for when auto-tune is not needed. I stands for integral time. P stands for proportional constant. D stands for derivative time. T is your cycle time represented in seconds. Just keep it at two for SSR output. SN is sensor. Zero is for K-type thermal couples and 21 is for PT100 RTD sensors. DP is for decimal point position. PSL is for the display low limit. PSH is for the display high limit. PB is the parameter for sensor calibration. OPA is the output mode, and please do not change this from zero. OUTL is the output low limit, and the adjusting range is from zero to 100%. OUTH is the output high limit, and the adjusting range is also from zero to 100%. ALP is the alarm output definition. This PID controller offers four types of alarms, a high limit alarm, a low limit alarm, a deviation high alarm, and a deviation low alarm. A high or low limit alarm is set by the specific temperatures that the alarm will trigger at, and a deviation high or low alarm is set by how many degrees above or below the target temperature, or SV, that the alarm will be on. Your alarms can be set in the parameter setting profile. In addition to the four alarm parameters, ALM1, ALM2, HY1, and HY2, we also need to tell the PID controller which relay to run the alarms needed by using ALP, or the Alarm Output Definition parameter. Now, the alarm output definition is calculated by the equation shown below. To calculate the right value for ALP, please think about these five questions. Question A. Do you want AL1 or AL2 to be turned on when process high alarm is triggered? Question B. Do you want AL1 or AL2 to be turned on when process low alarm is triggered? Question C. Do you want AL1 to be turned on when deviation high alarm is triggered or no? 
Question D. Do you want AL2 to be turned on when deviation low alarm is triggered or no? And question E. Do you want the alarm name to be showed on the lower display window when the alarms are triggered or no? For example, I want AL1 to be turned on when the process high alarm is triggered, AL2 to be turned on when the process low alarm is triggered, AL2 to be turned on when either deviation high alarm or low alarm is triggered, and the lower, dis lower display window always showing my setting temperature instead of the alarm names. This will give values of A equals 1, B equals 0, C equals 0, D equals 0, and E equals 1. Thus, ALP equals 17. So this is how our default value of ALP was calculated. COOL, or COOL, is a system function selection. The parameter is used to select your temperature display unit and heating or cooling mode. Its value is calculated by this formula. A equals 0 for heating mode. A equals 1 for cooling mode. C equals 0 for display, temperature display in Celsius degrees. C equals 1 for temperature display in Fahrenheit degrees. B can be either 0 or 1. It does not matter for this controller. The default value of COOL is 10 for heating mode and display unit in Fahrenheit. It's calculated by A equals 0, B equals 1, and C equals 1. If you want to use the heating mode but display in Celsius, please change COLL to 2. ADDR is the communication address. Please do not change this. BAUD is the communication baud rate. Please do not change this. FILT is the PV input filter. AM is the control mode. Parameter AM is for control mode selection. This PID controller has two control modes, startup mode and hold mode. Now there are three options for the startup mode to meet different scenarios. Scenario one, power failure is not allowed for the system. When the PID controller is just powered up, it will automatically jump to the 29th step and cancel all event output statuses. This option is suitable for applications in which power failure is not allowed at any time, so the user may do error handling at step 29. Scenario 2. Power failure will not affect production. After power is turned on, controller will continue to run the program from the original breakpoint, and the event output status will remain. Scenario 3. Utilizing the deviation alarm to check the temperature after power outage. If the temperature is within tolerance range, it will continue running from the breakpoint and even outputs stat remain. Otherwise, the program will jump to the 29th step and cancel event output status. There are also two options for the hold mode. When the controller program is being hold, you can have the temperature maintained at the current set temperature or the OUTL, preset output low limit value. The default setting of AM is 2 for scenarios where power failure will not affect production and maintain the set temperature during program while the program is on hold. LOCK or lock is the parameter to select the configuration pr privilege. And EP1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 are all field parameter definitions. If you want to display the controller in, say, a public event, and you may have concerns that a lot of people may accidentally change these parameter settings, by using the LOCK or lock parameter and field parameters, it gives limited permission to reach these specific parameters. For example, I want to bring, say, I want to bring this PID controller to a convention, and I need to show how this works in a demonstration. I only want to show how to change COOL. For switching between Celsius and Fahrenheit and selecting our different sensor types. So I'm going to go into my uh, parameter setting profile by holding set and going to the LOCK or lock parameter. And changing this to 2. Changing EP1 
to SN or sensor and changing EP2 to COOL. Cool. Now I'm gonna go into my parameter editing profile again. And you can see there's only three parameters, the SN parameter, the COOL parameter, and the lock parameter.